rips tracks. Total Darkness presents. Um, what do you got for us, Total Darkness? Th- that's it. Total <laughs> Darkness, you disappoint me. Oh, Total Darkness. <laughs> Live from Peak Viewing Production Studios, it's the uh, uh, the unic uh, the unicorn. Little unicorn. Couldn't see it, but I'm being told this is called the Little Unicorn. <laughs> it's a school where they teach you to be the omen. Yeah, to get in, you have to be born of a jackal. Never heard of that guy. Cruising the schools, trying to get the kids hooked on illegal unicorn meat. <laughs> First one is free. There's an actor named Big Mick. Oh yeah, it's the pseudonym for Liam Neeson when he's slumming in a bad movie. And yet he didn't use it for that wolf punching movie. Uh. I can't believe that judge is forcing me to go back to grade school in the tradition of Billy Madison. Holly at last! Holly, come on! I know you want a cracker, but you have to put some effort in and come get it. (laughs) Holly! Young Nick Carter, you rascal. Are you all right? No, my knee hurts. I'm sorry, Paul. It was an accident. Excuse me. I need to make a coat out of Dalmatian puppies. Ow! Sorry. You will be, Toby Cooper. Out of the way. Tell your dad, DB, I hope they never find him. Oh, that's a nasty graze. Can you walk? Yes. Come on, then. There you go. All right, the fun's over. Well, I'm sure it is, but should you really admit that two minutes into your movie? (laughs) Polly, you're back. I'm really sorry. Go on. Okay, if these state schools... You shouldn't have to put up with this. State schools and pretend England are terrible. happy here. Yes, well, you'd be even happier at St. Jude's. They get the best people and the best college places. And there are no boys. They play Indigo Girls 24-7 over the school intercom. How would I help Grandad look after the farm? I'm sure Grandad can look after the farm by himself. Despite the fact that he used to be a filthy boy. (sighs) That electric blanket she's wearing has got to be getting hot in the noonday sun. Well, I'm not going. We'll see. Well, I hope this is a road movie and the unicorn is a corrupt southern sheriff. Now, just because I got a single horn on my head don't mean I'm stupid. Now do it. (laughs) Oh, knees bleeding pretty bad. Dipping in and out of consciousness. Can't hear you. I'm too rich. In back there, that's the director. Okay, now we'll get out of the car. Good. <laughs> Hi, Grandad. Hi, Polly. How's Belle? She's fine, Paul. I think she'll fall tonight. Hi, Belle. Don't look at me, I'm so fat. Here, give her this. Hello, Dad. Lucy. Hello, Sam. How do you do? I can't stop, I'm running late. I'll try and pick her up again tomorrow, but I have two o'clock, so I may not make it. I'll give you a call. Yes, well, I have a meeting with um, my my horse. 
That's a really important horse meeting. If you need me later, I'll be on me mobile. Right. Thanks, Sam. I did not give you consent to touch me there. What have you done to your knee? Oh, nothing. It's just a scratch. Let's go inside and have a look at it. He can only see knees when he's inside. It's, it's a very specific type of blindness. And now the all-horse production of King Lear. Uh, Grandpa's got to get an indoor toilet. Thunder is her MMA nickname. Bell! I'm hooked on horse tranquilizers, kid. I made my own fate. Save yourself. Steady, girl. Come on, Bell. Stand up. Please. You must stand up. I dropped a comb earlier and you're lying on it, you fat hog. Oh, no. A horse is trying to nap. It's an emergency for some reason. Uh, Polly, what's wrong? It's Bell. No, it's two bells, actually. Uh, I'm quitting. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm on my way. Oh, and tell Polly not to worry. See you soon. Tell her not to worry unless she's got something against horse euthanasia. Uh, what's that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I heard you say something. No, no, no. Hmm, <sighs> dead horse. I, I mean, hello. I'm sorry, Paul, but Belle's died. To save her fall, I'll have to operate. No! He has to. Besides, I got horse operation money burning a hole in my pocket. She can't take the strain. It would be unfair to expect to do. No. Man, she is dead set on not helping that fall. Do the best you can, Sam. No! She won't suffer. I promise. The endless screaming you'll hear is quite normal. Let's go watch the Artax scene from Never Ending Story. Do horses go to heaven? I'm sure they do. <coughs> <coughs> I expect they have their own heaven. Full of green fields and clear flowing streams. Lots of painful surgeries. And on a hill overlooking it all. A pure white unicorn. I'm a giant racist. Whose job it is to keep all the horses safe. Will Belle go there? Of course she will. Will the unicorn look after her? Yes. Mm, sort of. <laughs> I wish... I wish... I wish I had a unicorn here so we can make Belle better. Wish not to be killed by lightning first? No, on the pecking order of... <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's God's wrath. Payback for all that blasphemy about horse heaven. Well, I was going to burn this down for the insurance money anyway. <gasps> Belle took the David Carradine way out. She's gone, Paul. I'm sorry. No! Remember the other nine times we told you she was going to die and you said, oh, no! What about the fall? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Boy. Well, all this time we've been watching a cheap cartoon, huh? I don't believe it. Look, Paul. But try not to laugh. It's an effect that makes the ones in Birdemic and Lawnmower Man seem pretty decent.
FYI, I, I'm not magical. It's just a genetic mutation. Too late. Too late. You let Bell die. That's a response, not holy f- the unicorn. Stop staring and start mucking out my stable. Come on. <laughs> ah, birth a unicorn, time to start drinking. <laughs> yeah, hell, that's what I do. <laughs> Give us your whiskey. Make it a double. Also, what are you doing later? Want to see my unicorn? Another. Steady, sir. You're all right. You look like you've seen a ghost. Please, the correct pronunciation is a g- 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 oh, ghost. And we weren't a ghost. We were the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Now, you keep down in them whiskies. It ain't the last thing you're going to see either. <laughs> <laughs> I abandoned my family to do this with my life. You can mock, Ned. But whiskey or no. I saw a unicorn tonight, and it was as real as I stood here. <laughs> He's doing the unicorn bit. <laughs> Ask why don't they make the whole animal out of the horn? <laughs> you can laugh, but I'm telling you, young Polly Evans, his mare, just gave birth <laughs> to a unicorn. Local idiot, piss drunk. I'm just thinking. Lightning struck the stable. Moment Bell died. And Dead horses are hilarious. Silver dust falling off. Sure, yeah, yeah. The dust, that well known unicorn trait. Pink as peach crystal. <laughs> and then the fairies came, amended the roof, and served fish and chips. John Quincy Adams, <laughs> please. I don't give a damn what you. Fools think. And you can call someone else next time you need a dog neutered. (laughs) (laughs) He downed four whiskeys in 60 seconds and now he's driving home. (laughs) Wow, it ate Bell so fast. Oh, it definitely was. And your grandpa's next. I didn't mean to be mad at you. (laughs) Oh, we're putting this one out to stud. And Lisa Frank's sinister world domination plan begins. Yeah, it's a sparkling unicorn that came out of a bolt of lightning. Idiot. I love you, unicorn. Now go stick that horn up, bold cut kid's ass. Polly, Polly! Hi, mind answering a few questions for a 1920s newspaper, bub? Mr. Regan? Yes. Jim. Jim Preston. I'm a reporter with a Quinby Herald. Covering all matters, Beezus and Ramona. Ted Regan. Ted, nice to meet you. Ah, it's a grand farm you have, yeah? I thought I'd just pop round and see if I couldn't put pay to some of these rumours. Rumours of a cheese standing rumors, alone? Rumours. Those stories of cruelty, mistreatment, and horses dying in the night. The most suspicious part of the Earth's rotation for a horse to die in. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What do you want? So calm down. I ain't saying there any truth in the rumours. Personally, I think it's all a pack of lies. You don't look the type of man to go around mistreating anything, let alone horses. Where do you hear I mistreated horses? I that abuse horses. horses. I want that on the record. Not that I'm blaming Sam. It was probably the drink talking. But he did say you had a sick mare die last night. And he was concerned for the foe. Yep, classic barfly talk. Oh, yeah, Andy Cap was always fretting about the health of baby animals. The foe's doing well. Look, you know that. And I know that. 
but how are we going to convince everyone else? This story could push the Falkland invasion off the front page. I could let everyone else know. I suppose it'll be all right. Sure, worked out great for E.T. Since it's a unique, wondrous creature, we keep it locked in the dark. There's dozens of horse skeletons in here. Unbelievable! No, he's a monster. He's running a glue business on the side. Things have run again. Boss! We work hard and stuff. Uh, times were tough for Danny DeVito before Boss! It's Always Sunny came calling. Boss! Now look, we're gonna Boss! do okay. You have to trust me. Come on, Tiny. We haven't been paid in weeks. I need one, man. You think I have? Boss! You think I'm any better off than the rest of you? I left Queens to run a circus in rural England for some reason. I myself before the welfare of this group. I'm asking you, have I? Boss! Wow, so that's why they call her the bearded lady. What? Mighty, what is it? Look, boss. Look at this. A real live, honest to goodness, unicorn. It's an off hat. Don't you mean honest to goodness unicorn? Believe it. Mighty, you're a genius. <laughs> now, friends, listen to me. Hear me out. Who wants to f a unicorn? Oh, come on, come on. I got the answer to all our problems. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. I'm shocked that a carny is disappointed with how their life turned out. Just cut the ball, Tony, and get to the point. The point? The point is this. Look. A unicorn. A real-life unicorn. Hey, who did William meet at the palace? Can you imagine what people would pay to see this? Can you imagine how, how big a crowd we could get in that big top to see this? Think about the money we could earn. Can make a fortune. Well, I don't know. We got burned pretty bad by that Bat Boy article. <laughs> yeah, seems unimpressive until you realize it's her uvula. <laughs> Let's get ahead of it. Yes, Ricardo Montalban turned down this role. Basic, how you doing? Oh, a very ladylike. Chewing gum, slouched in the chair, reading a newspaper. And you're hardly tan at all. Calm down, Henry, dear. Don't call me Henry. The name's Alonzo, and I want you to dress me as Alonzo. You've got to read this, Henry. It's about a unicorn. Is it little? Nah, you normal size. Not interested. I'm listening to how much of a house unicorn, did you say? Uh, nonsense. It's a hoax. And why does it have to be a hoax? Because a unicorn is a hoax. Airtight logic. You're a magician. Don't you believe in magic? Not anymore. I do tricks. Lousy little tricks. His signature was pulling a hat out of a hat. What if it was real? Think what you could do if you had it on. You could be a real magician doing real magic, just like you always dreamed. Or you could grind the horn up into boner pills. Either one. Crazy. <laughs> Dreams are for fools. There is no magic. And it is an hoax. You should prove it. The best way to prove an animal doesn't exist is sending Richard Terry to investigate. What the earth is going on? Have a look at this. All these people. Never mind that. Look at what Williams got planned at the palace. <laughs> no. Let's go inside. Good. Blend in on a farm by dressing like Billy Zane in Titanic. During his absence, Lobster Boy has orchestrated a bloody coup of the sideshow. Where are you? <laughs> Circus performers, known for their clumsiness. The kids and porkies went to less trouble to sneak a peek at something. <laughs> A dramatic reenactment of his own birth. I can't read, shove. Yep, pretty much like that. Pretty risky to portray a movie circus owner as a villain for once. <laughs> Whoops, climbed into Leatherface's barn by mistake. <laughs> well, time to die. Uh, 
and he lands in a huge pile of sparkly dung. Mummy? That's a strange fellow. Well, come on, Penny dear. Grey Gardens, the early years. Mummy, what's we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're giving this thing some eye candy. It won't let us in to see the foal or find another way. But isn't that trespassing? Quiet, dear. Your voice is peeling the paint off the bar. This won't hurt. Besides, we've got to find out if this unicorn is real. If it is, it'll be worth a fortune at stud. And that's just from bronies who want to watch. But, but Mr. Regan doesn't run a stud farm. He keeps sheep. <laughs> a rare mooing sheep. No, but we do. Now come along. Time to distract the farmer with an erotic fan dance. <laughs> it's true. Unicorns are really oh, stupid. He's beautiful. I am going to make so much money. I hate it when guys aren't in the freak show game for the love. Look at it. It's kind of standing there, but with a horn. It's real. It's really real. Got a horn and all. Yeah, it's cute. But are you going to get that in the back of a minivan? That's what they said about my fat camp soccer team. I only need it all, remember? What, what, what is it? Did you hear anything? No, I didn't hear that. Must be distracted by all the unicorn dust. How are you going to get it to stand still long enough for you to steal its own? Steal is an odd way to put the involuntary surgery. I'll, I'll hypnotize it. Yes, that's what I'll do. That'll never work. Oh, no, watch this. <laughs> well, that's not it. Look at that. Uh, God, yes. that makeup's even worse than his clown makeup. It's not, not that either. That worked the first time. <laughs> Wait, here, I have the magic crystal. Ah, there you are. Look at that. Look deep into the depths the crystal. Listen to my word. He can't. He's a horse. Are getting sleepier and sleepier. Tireder and tireder. Stared into the crystal. Kevin? Kevin? <coughs> I didn't know you were susceptible to hypnosis. What? What? No, I'm not. I'm just really bored. Stop pushing. Go on. Go to sleep, sleep, sleep. He's hypnotized the wrong one. He's a long-range hypnosis accuracy appraiser. Sleepier and sleepier. Tired and hush. Tired and hush. What's going on? Not much. What's B-list actor badly slumming with you? They spilled George Hamilton's onset bronzer. Amazing! Man, the new season of Twin Peaks got off to a rocky start. He finally got a picture of that thing he already got a picture of before. Yeah. Quick, this way! <laughs> if there's one thing little kids love in movies, it's dangerously incompetent crowd control. Yeah. Love it! Hurry, hurry! Stay back! Over there, keep off my land! If you find acres and acres of pot plants, remember, they just grow wild here! Come on, Maisie. Come on, step out of here. Come on. Come on. Oh. I, I tried to tell you I'm a stripper cop, not an actual cop. Come on, come on. Watch the birdie. Never worked in the act before. Come on, boss. Sit down. Come back. Kill him! <laughs> 
I mean, uh, catch the unicorn. Oh, Dad, you've really done it now. What have I done except care for my granddaughter? Well, that and the constant shoplifting. Your sister would turn in her grave if she thought you were sending her only child away. I'm not sending her away. I'm doing what I think is best for her. And boarding school will broaden her horizons, make a young lady out of her. Uh, oh, wait. I guess I am, in fact, sending her away. A guardian, too. <laughs> By definition. <And> this <laughs> fiasco isn't helping your case at all. Sid, come with me. We'll head them off at Palmer's Lane. Palmer's Lane, well-known crossing for preteen runaways and their rogue unicorns. Oh, I think this is the scene where Macaulay Culkin gets stung to death by bees. Oh, cool. Yay! Shouldn't have gone back for mood ring. Uh, Are you all right? Tell me. What? What happened? Here, sit up Where? here. Sit up sharply. Move neck back and forth rapidly. Always good after a crash that knocks you unconscious. Sit still. It wasn't his fault. You were going too fast. I already wrote half a dead man's curve type song about it. Look, we're going to have to split up. Oh no, they're coming. What's going on? They're after us. Well, after him. That's right, know your place, he garbage. Looks, <laughs> he looks like a unicorn. I know that, he is a unicorn. What's his name? He hasn't gotten one. I mean, I haven't given him one yet. Oh, uh, uh, uh Dusty. Horny? Uh, the Reverend Dr. Equine Swordface. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. Come on, we better hide. How fast can you dig a tiger trap? They were around here somewhere. My paper's offering a £1,000 reward to the person who catches the unicorn. So says Welsh Matt Drudge. Quick. Developing. Oh, no! Oh, Spike! Spike! Spike. God, I hope oh, they're I calling him that because of the Griffin horn on his head. Something. Spike! Spike! Oh no! Wait here! I see a place over there I haven't been annoying yet. Come on! We'd better go! Quick! Spike, follow us! Come on, Spike! There they go! Shoot to kill! As a newspaper reporter, I have that authority! Man, we are one bumblebee man away from a full-blown Springfield here. Oh, Dios! If she'd hit it and the next hour was them picking Unicorn out of the radiator, this would be the greatest movie of all time. Come on! Are you, are you all right? Also, who am I again and what is our relationship? <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, Spike, no! <laughs> Granddad. Our feces smeared punchy sticks only crippled half of them. Sid, show these people out and don't let anyone else in. This reminds me of that Wallace and Gromit cartoon where Gromit ruthlessly beat a paparazzi. Into the house. Out, out. Dad! Come on now, come on. Holly, come here. Come on then, Spike. We'll witness relocate you to a cactus in Needles, California. Come on, Spike. <sighs> Maybe someday we'll afford full-size doors. Right. I've had enough of this nonsense. You're going to St. Jude's, and that's that. But... No buts. I could have killed you just now. 
Lucy. You had the chance and you didn't do it? No, Dad. I know you've tried to do what's right for Polly, but you're not getting any younger, and Polly's at a time in her life where she needs friends her own age. St. Jude's is on the other side of the county. That's not nearly far she enough. come home for school holidays. I don't know. Dad, you can't take care of her by yourself. <sighs> this is about me letting you get chased around by a bloodthirsty mob, isn't it? That's settled, then. No! Grandad! I think it's for the best, Paul. Maybe you'll get lucky and a boarding school won't be a living hell for the first time in movie history. I'll make the arrangements. Cheer up, Polly. You really will enjoy it. Hands off, Dynasty. I don't want to go. Now listen to Lucy, Paul. I'm sure you'll enjoy it when you get there. No, I won't. <sighs> Maybe she just needs a cable knit sweater. She doesn't need a cable knit sweater. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the John Belushi method of horse grooming. This is never going to work. Oh, I don't know. Most folks see what they want to see. And Bonnie don't mind, do you, Bonnie? Because Bonnie doesn't want to end up like Belle, do you, Bonnie? There we go. Eat the ball. <laughs> he doesn't look a thing like Spike. Yeah, much too large to pass for the little unicorn. Never fool anyone. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Spike can help. What do you mean? Well, he's magic, isn't he? Magic. Unicorn magic to the rescue! Hooray! Yay! May cause sterility. Oh. Yeah, kids better get out of here. You don't want to see what happens next. No one's looking. Get Bonnie ready. Get the ballet tights and roller skates on her. Time to give these people a show. My God, I'm not really Columbo, am I? It's, it's a unicorn. It's out. It's loud and it's proud and it doesn't care who knows it. Let's smash it up and turn it into Frappuccinos! He comes up, guns blazing, no one is spared. The British angry mob is much more polite than the American version. Yeah, and you know, they always end after two seasons in a special. No long, drawn out mobs. <laughs> My old timey camera needs now? ten minutes to take a picture. Sorry, Ted, they just swarmed in. What's going on? Oh, damn it! I was getting great TV reception. So what's going on? Oh, what's coming off? This, this, it's a hoax. It's nothing but a hoax. Ignoring the magic blue lightning we all saw, I guess, clear. huh? Been laughing at us all. Well, you'll rue the day you cross me! Now, now, you just calm down, calm sir. Calm down. Don't you tell me to calm down. He's made a laughing stock out of us all. This is the biggest hoax since the Piltdown Man. Whoa, he went there. Played the Piltdown Man card. Oh, it's almost like they're over-pandering to the preteen girl market. It worked. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Look at this headline. There's no future in the circus business. <laughs> yeah, right. The old rogue, I didn't think you had it in him. What's that, boss? This. Take a look. Grab, grab the end of the pole, boss. A hoax? If it's anything yeah. like Piltdown, man, the girls will lose it. Neither do I. It seems that everybody else does, which means the heat is off and we have a free hand. But how are we supposed to steal a unicorn, boss? They don't exactly grow on trees. And everyone knows you can only steal things that grow on trees. They don't exist at all, and we can't steal them. 
Or at least we can't be accused of stealing something that didn't exist in the first place. It's brilliant. Now off to give a TED talk about treating little people with dignity. Ross, help! Ross! A hoax! Did you know I dated the Piltdown man for a while? <laughs> Ted Reagan must be stupid if he thinks he can fool me that easily. Well, maybe it was a hoax. Oh, she just got her eyes dilated? Don't be stupid. Even you can tell that these two horses look nothing like each other. This one. Farm Is Forum went tabloid? Sad, that used to be the newspaper of record. Is a unicorn. Is that clear? What a sheep. Oh, what in the world? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, that suitcase is made from real Mickey skin. Sick. Where's Polly? Saying goodbye to Spike. She always loved that channel. Will you go and tell her it's time to go? Okay. Why couldn't I have been one of the home improvement sons instead? Take care of Granddad for me. And make sure you stay out of sight. Uh, chill out, kid. I don't even know your name. Maybe if I had a choice. But Aunt Lucy's determined, and what am I going to do? I won't know anyone. Well, at least I'll be away from that awful blonde boy. Polly. Oh, man. Yarn said it's time to go. Bye, Spike. Don't worry. I'll look after him for you. Thanks, Toby. First, I'm going to put a Calvin peeing decal on the unicorn's butt. Damn it, Toby. I used to fight dragons. All set. Come on, cheer up. You'll love it when you get there, won't she, Sid? Oh, and Sid, how are things with your new girlfriend, Nancy? I've packed some of your favorite things. Thanks. If there's no raindrops on roses in here, I'll freak out. You'll be back home in a few weeks for the holidays. Aunt Lucy's right. You'll have a great time. You'll make a lot of new friends. Sorry, I meant make up a lot of new friends, like you made up the unicorn, you I love loser. You, I love you too, Paul. I'll miss you. Go on, give them hell. That's right, go hardcore at that boarding school. Bring your poison etiquette A-game and make theirs look like trash. Really, just tear shit up! Bye, Paul. Bye, Toby. Don't worry about Spike. I'll take good care of him for you. Thanks, Toby. See you. Don't drunkenly like a picture of me at the beach in eight years, okay? Bye, Granddad. Ah, red convertible is the unicorn of middle-aged men, so kind of the same. Take care, sweetie. Make sure to mention your friend the unicorn to your new classmates early and often. Oops, you're not supposed to get leather wet. Uh. If this is a note, what are we doing here? This is not an oax. But is it a knife? George is a total failure as a Dundee. <laughs> the nads. <laughs> oh, brownstone. That's going to make it way harder to burn the whole place down and blame it on the unicorn. Welcome to Hogwarts, kid. So forget all about your magical stories and whimsical flights of fancy. That crap don't fly here. Ooh, extra cruel of her aunt to wear Polly's favorite childhood bed sheets. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just figure out their rules on the timing of when you have pudding versus meat. Yeah, yeah, me too, buddy. 
Oh, and um, George Hamilton's your roommate. Oh, Polly. You'll be all right, won't you? Don't worry. We'll take good care of her. As soon as you're gone, I'm going to beat her silly with this clipboard. Well, we better make a move. Bye, Paul. You stay out of trouble, okay? Sure thing. Uh, stepdad, over-involved stable hand. What is the relationship here again, exactly? Well, bye forever. Bye, Polly. I'll give you a ring later and make sure you've settled in all right. Maybe someday I'll even love you enough to touch you with my bare hands. Can it, nerd? Well, time to go Matilda on this place. We now check in on this U-Haul already in progress. Oh, shoot, I think we ran over a unicorn. Eh, it was just a little one. I'm doing a Thelma and Louise. Don't ruin the moment for me. Kimpton Brown Stud Farm. Sounds like a quaint British porno. (laughs) Ironic gig as fast food magnate. Is that you? Well, it clearly isn't accent training. Come on. Come on. Oh, suddenly hoping this movie has a bear. Keep the streak alive. Uh, by the way, I'm radioactive as hell. You're all doomed. Hey, it stopped blowing once it got inside. I knew whether there was a reason for that or if it's just movie incompetence. Oh, I, I think you know which one it is. Yeah. Now what? We're gonna follow them. Follow them? Yes, we're gonna follow them, but first, follow me. We're gonna find the director and demand our checks. Based on the outfit, I assume she's a Soviet peasant who wants to steal a unicorn to feed her entire village. Amy Mann has a side gig driving the stud farm truck. (laughs) It's like Portlandia. (laughs) Where are we supposed to be going? Direct to video, I assume. (laughs) Your legs are longer than mine. Direct to video? I'm fed up, I'm hungry, and I didn't want to come on this wild goose chase anyway. Will you stop complaining? Mommy, why did you burn Daddy's dental records? Not like there's a frightened dolphin stuck in her alternator. Ah. You all right? Well, I think so. I'll be better once I steal some hamburgers from Ronald and the gang. Oh, no. Come on. I know a German cannibal we can sell the bodies to. My PhD in circus studies didn't prepare me for this. this perfect. Oh. Looks like these limey broads cracked a Norgan's real go- oh, look, I've lost the accent. I don't <laughs> I think this was gonna be okay. She's fine. 
Oh, that's just my ringtone when Ann Coulter calls. It can't be. I think it is. <laughs> ah, the unicorn is injured, leaking its precious and famous dust. Besides, I can't reach. Maybe he can heal your corduroy allergy, boss, so you don't get that stripy rash anymore. Is he okay? Yeah! <laughs> Sudden onset Joe Pesci! Yeah! He's losing the truck that isn't moving? Buddy, come on, we don't have all that. Come on! Come on, And he uses his unicorn magic to make a guy forget that brakes exist? <laughs> Dozens of little British fish stoically take another bite of hell. Nothing for it. <laughs> Mommy, shall we watch them die, Mommy? Oh, my. This is going worse than when we smuggled those conjoined twins out of Vancouver in a chest freezer. Carnage. Carnage. This wouldn't have happened in a zero at that. <laughs> Like it. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, I've made some bad choices in my life. So you're doing, Henry. I've broken a nail. <laughs> in two hours, she'll notice her urine darkening with blood. I'm straining krill through my baleen. You have yourself, Henry. I've had enough. Stop. Yeah, why splash when you could stab him to death with a sharp stick and blame the unicorn? Spike boy. Sp Spike. Spike stole the Vitamix on his way out. Spike. My parents are here to see where I spend so much time. <laughs> Just kidding, they don't Spike's care at all. Gone. Well, it's not like he could really put in a security system. It would ruin his Hobbit vibe. Yeah, so I'll have to report you for child labor violations. I don't know, Ted. The lock's been broken right enough. There's lorry tracks in the mud. Whoever took that horse is long gone. They're in a puddle like 50 yards away, Sherlock. Unicorns around. He'll stand out like a sore thumb. Unicorn. I thought all that was a hoax. Like Sam Worthington's movie career. You want me to put an APB out for a unicorn? Well, I bet that line was the crown jewel in the trailer for this. Oh, you're right, Sid. I don't want to go through all that again. Look, do the best you can, but keep it low-key. Lucy will kill me if there's any more fuss. You want me to put out an APB for any more fuss? Didn't, didn't work the second time. Are you me from the future? I'll do the best that I can. Tell Lucy I'll pop by tomorrow. Be trying to impress my daughter, would you, Sid? Because I'll kill you, Sid. I will straight up murder you. Well, if you won't help us, I guess we'll just have to fight Spike on our own. I think we should leave it to the police. We can't. It's you not a nice Sid. thing to call He's the police. 
Sid knows what he's doing. Great! You're as bad as the rest of them! Toby! You disillusioned me, old man. I'm going to work for BP. Toby, come back! <sighs> Toby! Great. Now I have to trick a new kid into running my farm. <laughs> He's like a beautiful airbrush t-shirt come to life. He's gorgeous, huh? Boy. He's a bit wild, boss. And not quite as little as we were led to believe. What a Kanye, it's so unprofessional. He's going to get hurt if it carries on acting like this. Wrong. He's the only one that's going to get hurt if he doesn't mind his manners. Just like I told my estranged kids. Yeah. <laughs> I am the night. I am the shadows. Polly, wake up. We've got to kill your grandpa. He disrespected me. What? Toby? Shh. Well, I'm sorry, dear, but your nightmare about spiders definitely means you're going to hell. Sweet dreams, Sarah. Finally, now Mama can put some scotch to bed. Behind one of those posters is the way out of Shawshank. <gasps> oh, hate it when I don't catch anyone to punish. It just relaxes me. Oh, yeah. This brings me back. You know, you never forget your first B&E. What are you doing here? Spike, he's been stolen. Stolen? How, what, when? Last week. Last week? Why didn't you tell me? It's been a week? How yeah. far was his bike ride? You know how long it's taken to get you. You could have found. I'll never find him now. You don't have to. I know where he is. We just sign off on my expenses first. It's all itemized here. He's joined the circus. Come on! The least disappointed response in history to the statement, he's joined the circus. <laughs> Happy Pride, Aunt Lucy! <laughs> What's happened? Polly's run away. What do you mean, run away? She can't have. I'm afraid she has. The school called me. Asked if I had Prince Albert in a can. She'd she come here. Oh, my. Toby's missing, too. Toby? Well, that's it, then. It's this unicorn nonsense. They're in it together. I read it on InfoWars. Anything that isn't about money or position is nonsense to you. Dad? Don't dad me. This is your fault, all of it. We lost the Battle of Saratoga because of you. You pushed and pushed till I gave in and we sent her away to that wretched school. I knew she was unhappy. I kept my mouth shut and see what it's done to us. Ted. You stay out of this, Sid. You're not my son-in-law yet. Where are you going? To get my granddaughter back. Nice. Grandpa's switching into taken mode. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I was just doing what I thought was best. I browbeat and harangue out of love. I know. I know. So does your dad. I will cut your bollocks off. Already did, dear. Thank you. One, please. Wait a minute. I thought this was the G.G. Allen show. <laughs> Look, the oldest deadhead in the world. Ah, the circus. Solid proof that joy can be the most depressing thing. Ah! 
be very disappointed if this doesn't end with rampaging violent elephants. Mike, you say that about everything. Wait, do I? Yeah, you said it about my wedding. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta admit, it would have been a better finish. It would have been good. Yeah, I can see. Welcome to the ADHD Circus. We do every act at once and you're out in ten minutes. You owe me gramps now. I don't know you, lads. Sod off. Aww. I think we're gonna make a fortune. If we can get the animal to perform. He'll perform. One way or the other, he'll perform. Or I'll cut off a movie mogul's head and put it in his bed. find the unicorn, let alone steal it all. Don't you tell me to shh. Henry. Terrible update of my fair lady. Henry. I can't decide which is more menacing. My bright cherry red coat or my dainty white gloves. You notice we dress like pumpkins today, boss. <laughs> you didn't notice. Hey, want this cigar? No way! <laughs> what are they doing to the poor thing? Well, well, my boy. We're not so frisky now, are we? Hmm? Ah, the whimsical kids movie is becoming Marathon Man. Is it safe? I have got myself a big tub full of paying customers out there. And if you know what's good for you, you will put on a good show. Won't you? Better effect than in Twilight. Yeah. I thought so. Billy Joe Armstrong thinks this guy wears too much eye makeup. Better rehearse my dumb counting act. One, two, three, four. Get him ready. Put him in his evening gown and tiara. Uh oh, it's shorting out. <laughs> Bad ground. So, magic is basically the same as sticking a fork in a wall outlet. He looks delicious. Look at all those people. Yeah, I don't see any. We're here to see Spike. I don't know how people can be so cruel. They're not. Least there's not most of them. They're here to enjoy the circus. They don't see what the animals go through behind the scenes. The endless callbacks and heartbreak. Wait for me. <laughs> ah, puppetry of the penis must have just finished up. You know, in cinema, this is called an over-establishing shot. <laughs> Elephant degrees. Oh, yeah. They're setting up a perimeter defense learned from the masters of war, Sun Tzu, General Sherman, and Kevin McAllister. Lousy unicorn didn't leave any outs for me. How are we going to find Spike? Don't worry, we'll find him. Come on. This feels sure like Harry Potter and Hermione, except not magical and considerably dumber. Okay, we'll work fast and grab whatever money and jewelry we see. But my unicorn. Afterwards, Toots, if this time. Okay, off to perform another prostate exam. Cages over there. Come on. You guys aren't mice, are you? I hate mice. Shh. 
Are you all right? Oh, simmer down, Aslan. You would not have called to me unless I had been calling to you. Yeah, yeah, sure. But quieter, okay? Okay. All the poor things? We have to find Spike. I don't think he's here. They'll kill Spike if they treat him like this. They won't want to. Not as long as they're making money. I'll soon put a stop to this. I'll get the all creatures great and small, Doctor. He'll kick their asses! What are you doing? Are you mad? Let go. Do you really want to leave him like this? Besides, we need a diversion. Okay, I'll do the elephants. In Bardu, I mean steal the tusks for ivory. ka But my unicorn... Yeah, we'll get around to the... Okay, that's it. Come on, let's go. Well, the lad sure does love to tell people when to come on. The wee micromanager that one is. I... Al hurts my ears. Wow. <laughs> this guy's name is Al. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a terrible horn. Yeah, player. we got we got it, yeah. This way. Hey, there's a lot of used balloons down here. <laughs> Oh, hey, folks, I didn't know you were here. I was just having a nap in my Ringmaster pod. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. But we're watching a monkey roller skate. Long ago, before the time of man, there was an age of legend when dark and terrible monsters stalked the land. We called them lawyers, folks. Oh. Oh, tough crowd, tough crowd. And all was chaos! They don't like chaos. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, hi, Rerun. And into this whirlwind of destruction, a small spark began to grow, ladies and gentlemen. Bring back roller skating monkey! We want roller skating monkey! This sucks! To pierce the darkness, a creature was born. A hero to brighten the day. A valiant force for good. A monkey with roller skates? No, it's not a monkey with roller skates. Stop it with that! From his hoof, sparks would light the forest. And from his horn... Free Gatorade! ...would melt the frozen grips of winter. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of light. He means me, doesn't he? King of horses, the unicorn. Oh, his battery is at a hundred percent. Nice. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> And so, ladies and gentlemen, the battle began. And the unicorn fought these terrible beasts and drove them back into the darkness. You'll have to take my word for it, folks. That's how it played out. (laughs) Okay, so unicorns. Part horse, part narwhal, part electric eel? Scan. They're killing independent unicorn! <laughs> Hurry, no! No. Stop those kids! Somebody stop those kids! Can't you people tell when unicorn whipping goes off script? Nice of the band to accommodate. <laughs> hey, yo, come on, Rap. What, what, that's a foul. What are you, blind? Yo, Spike! I'll stop them! This jaded crowd has seen its share of circus riots. <laughs> You'll get no reaction from us till we get roller skating monkey! Roller skating monkey! <laughs> so that was off the chain, as it were. Oh, sure, whatever, old man. Come on! Oh, idiot! 
Ooh, ooh, uh, can I punch a contortionist? Curtains! Ghosts! Come on, Spike! Make a movie and call it a joint! <laughs> Spike, stop him! Stop that horse! Oh, tell me we didn't miss the plate spinner. Well, last week's crowds made a similar exit when Dave Matthews began his second song. Just Catch that little wrench! What the hell is going on? Dad! Did the drive in show start in next car. month? Get in the car. Come on! Follow Polly! On their drives home, every dad joke, it was like a three-ring circus in there, to a dead, silent car. Just a reminder, folks, next week we're hosting the Backyard Again Live. You don't want to miss that. Get out of the way! Don't make me throw a Linda at you, pal! Oh, Angela Merkel, you scamp. Let's catch a Yeti. Follow that bird! Harry belongs with the Henderson! Hey, Polly, magic you crap is wearing off. Can you hook me up with your connect? Look how fast he's going. Yes, he has the power to undercrank the shot. What a wondrous animal. I'm gonna cut him off. Try to catch what's her name when she's catapulted forward. <laughs> That's it, Spike. Stay out of the thicket of trees so everyone can see your pretty sparkles. Well, we lost him. Okay, everyone, let's go tip cows instead. I got beer. Let's do it. Cow tipping. Yoo-hoo. Slow down. Come straight for us. Go, TriStar logo. Ride like the wind. Ah. Spike, drop a mustard gas canister. You got it, boss. Look! Yeah! Good Spike! Look! It's flying like a Pegasus without costly CGI wings. Look at that. Dad! Spike will take her home. And cover her college expenses. We'll meet her there. Quick! Penny, get back in the car. And out of my dreams. <laughs> it's hard to believe that many people would show up to something called Brian's Circus. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Spike, the air's getting really thin. Oh, doing okay back there, Sasquatch? Sorry to kidnap you, but we got used to having mythical beast hair at the farm. We're out of sugar cubes. Polly? Are you all right? Grandfather! I lost three toes and blacked out twice! Hey, Spike's free! Yes, you did it. Oh, Polly, you're all right. Thank you. Goodness. Not that you care. You have your Technicolor Dreamcoat audition. Of course I care. I made a mistake. If you're truly not happy at St. Jude's, then... Enlist. You can live with Grandad. Whatever you want. As long as you're happy. And I guess it's time to stop making Sid Wade, too. If he'll still have me. Well, there's eight people in town, so I guess. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> Creepy Sid. <laughs> Dullsville. <laughs> Congratulations, Sid. 
Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Make it weird. Make it weird for everyone. That's right. They'll suffer for Dad. <laughs> Spike! Isn't it wonderful? Now we get to live happily ever after. Mm, but I prefer my endings ambiguous and unresolved. What's wrong? <laughs> They're never going to give up and leave Spike alone. What are we going to do? It's up to Paul. Paul Reiser. He owns the farm now. Long story. I bought a farm. You can set him free. Oh, I don't England. want him to go. Listen to Granddad, Polly. We all have to make sacrifices for those we love. I know that more than most. Mind if I steal some sympathy so I here? I should be free. Not chained and whipped. Come on. Oh, forget him, boss. Be easier if we kidnap that chicken who can play checkers. Let it go, boss. The horse belongs to the kids. Everyone can see that. Wait, wait. Oh, should have taken that job on Time Bandits. Please, Polly. Let him go. You said he was here to put some of the magic back in the world. He can only do that if he's free. Oh, well cared for, and we all know that won't last here. I'll stand by whatever you decide. I love you, Spike. But you need to be free. Like Willy. To run wild. Like Bear Grylls. But don't forget me. Please. There are lots of nice people in the world. May not apply in Boston. All those bad ones. Devo sent me. Get away from my horse! No, boss. Let them be! This is my meal ticket. I'm not gonna lose it now. Unlike most of my meal tickets, which I accidentally discard or misplace. That's right, buddy. You're gonna mount a unicorn, but not in the traditional way. You see this? This is me going easy on you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you ever really need to duck. <laughs> My new pencil sharpener! That's what I'll bring to show and tell! Spike! Oh, you want first shot at the guy, kid? Fine by me. Get him! Yeah, go, Spike! Oh, brother. I've never seen a more blatant ripoff to the ending of Star Games in my life. Huh? Is her reaction to a flying unicorn? She is cold. Burn in hell, Spike. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Too much dust. I can't hold it up. Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh, pieces of me everywhere. <laughs> the fields were contaminated for decades. He's free, Granddad. He's going to bring the magic back. He's going to start another war with the Germans? That's not what I meant, Grandpa. <laughs> and as our young hero realizes that boarding school would have actually been a better choice, I'd like to thank you all for joining us. But if you happened upon this rift track through some, I don't know, magical conjuring, sure. we understand. But, 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 please head on over to rifttracks.com slash donate and make it right. We'll see you all next time. And the centaur mills. Ah, oh, no, not that again, Kevin. Have your fabled be spayed or neutered, folks. Well, that's just good advice. Easter egg for all our good friends. To discuss this theme that won't end. Constant repeat. A musical crime. It's real bad. They played it like 800 times. To drive you mad. <laughs> 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 <sighs>
Yeah. Yep. Well. Good job, guys. Thank We're you. Really stuck it to that repetitive musical theme. <laughs> yeah, I'll <that'll> teach it. <laughs> but it's uh, still going on, guys. It is. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Stop, <laughs> you little unicorn! It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.